Hey, this is uh, Sean Sean with Artists from SeanSean.co. I also do specials on eBay. Today I'm going to go to the gallery and do an abstract in Metal Mayhem. So, see you guys there. All right, now we're going to uh, Blick. Gotta get some new um, canvas. Gonna do some large series, not too large, uh, 24 by 36 styles. And um, let me fix this. Sorry, I hope that wasn't dirty. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go fix um, some new paintings up. So I hope to see you back at the gallery. Okay, so we just got out of the Blick. Got the canvas, ready to go, man. So I got two yards. Uh, Really, I need a yard and a half, but they never sell it that way, which is kind of stupid because they always give you extra, so they end up with extra on the end, which is the only reason why they don't give it to you that way. So it's kind of like they're defeating their own purpose, but whatever, right? The question of the day is, when did Gera Richter leave Germany? And when was the last time he saw his parents? All right, so now we're at the gallery, we're gonna do a Metal Mayhem style, so hope it, wish me luck. All right, today we're gonna do, um, I got this nice 24 by 36 wood panel. So I'm gonna use uh, canvas, I'm gonna wrap it around first, and then gesso, do my own frame, and then I'll paint from there. All right, now we're gonna hang the uh, canvas on the stretcher um, on the board here. So we're wrapping it around here with the clamps. So as I mentioned before, these are really great to get if you guys get them. And uh, you can turn them and unturn them. They're a lot better than uh, binder clips because binder clips are going to wear out, um, pin push are going to wear out and put holes in your canvas. So this is doesn't leave any mark on your canvas. It's a really great tool. All right, so now it's stretched, so I'm gonna add the gesso. All right, so I just added the first layer. Um, I'll add a second layer, but I'm gonna skip it and I'm gonna... All right, about ready to start. I'm gonna do Metal Mayhem, so I'm gonna figure out the colors. I'll run through those pretty soon. All right, gonna start the colors. Primary yellow, phthalo green, quin blue, yellow ochre, copper, burnt umber, red oxide, Indian yellow blue, zinc, I might add um, the other white too as well, and carbon black. Let's get off to the races. All right, so this is the first layer. I added in um, gesso, 
I got the black and I've got the copper. So I'm kind of combining all those and brought a little bit back into gesso at the end. So um, best way to do this is actually have uh, wet underneath. I probably should have put a base layer in um, just because the white's going to show and then, you know, some museum people are going to be like, it has white in the painting. But anyway, <laughs> collectors probably don't care, right? <laughs> They'll be like, it just looks cool. Who cares, right? All right, about ready to put the second layer on. Um, you know, the painting looks pretty good as is, but so it's a little bit of a risk to put more on. <laughs> but, um, you know, I thought I was gonna put more on, so I, I'm just gonna go with it. So we'll see, hopefully it is ruined. So what happened was uh, Garrett Richter grew up in East Germany and he studied there, learned all the craft. Um, so the East German style is more kind of the propaganda, painting, social realism styles. So he's really good at realism. And then he decided, you know, he saw some uh, Western art. I don't know where he saw it, but then he decided to immigrate to the West to study there. So he left in 61 and this is the same year they put up the Berlin Wall. Now at the time, he assumed, you know, it would last more five, six years or whatever. But the fact is it lasted the 89, so he never saw his parents again. So it was a really kind of a tragic part of Garrett Richter's life. So, you know, never take your parents for granted, right? All right, that's my question of the day. All right, so we just finished. So let's take a look at the painting. So it has this really nice, um, I kind of like the yellow, not totally hype on it, but um, it adds nice balance to the browns and reds. And I added the black to have that really high contrast in the painting. Um, yeah, as far as you know how it looked before, I really like the high contrast, but there's a little more complexities, which you know it was lacking the complexity earlier on. So you know you can always argue the earlier painting was just like a nice boom in your face, but you need a little more complexity to, for it to be in a, a long-term enjoyable painting, I think. Um, so that's my take. Hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe below. And uh, see you in the next painting video.